So the Blackmagic Design development team have been hard at it again, another new release of DaVinci Resolve, and this feature that I want to show you in this episode is absolutely amazing. This is the new speech to text tool. This is the last thing that I was using in Adobe Premiere before I canceled my cloud subscription, and I'm just so pleased to see it actually in here. So let's go and take a look. I'll show you exactly how it works. So as you can see, I'm in the edit page. This also works in the cut page and I've got a single clip in here. This is an episode I did a few weeks ago and it's the whole episode. So it's 19 minutes, 18 seconds long. And all I need to do is right hand click on the actual clip itself, go down to the bottom here and you'll see a new feature called transcribe audio. I'm gonna click on this and it's gonna go off and literally transcribe the audio. Now I'm doing this on a old trash can Mac, so it's taking a little while, but I also did the same test on a MacBook Pro M2, and it did that in one minute, 51 seconds. That's a 19 minute clip in one minute, 51. So there we go, that's the transcribe done. So that's that full 19 minute video, everything is in there. And I've already checked this through and it is incredibly accurate. So even technical terms, the only thing it got wrong in here was one of the names, so Daria Fassoon, sorry Daria, but it actually got your name wrong. And also here it's a Da Vinci master key and it just spelt it a little bit wrong, but that's the only mistake I can find so far. You'll also see as I highlight that, it goes to the correct point in the video as well. So you could use this to find quotes really quickly. So this is super quick is there and if I press my marker it actually marks the range where it says that exact word so I could now name this marker it's going to be really easy for me to navigate through long interviews and I can also use this for subtitling my YouTube videos so we could take a section here and I can copy that and then we can go and create a subtitle track in here right click and say add subtitle and then I can literally just copy that in like we've been able to do before. However, there is a new feature now. So there's, there's that in, let me just move that over a little bit. But there's a new feature in here now that allows me to do automatic subtitling. So what we can do is get rid of that. Let's clear that one off. So if we go up here to timeline and just say, create subtitles from audio, it's gonna analyze the entire sequence. You can put the characters per line. I think the maximum is, maximum is 60. Uh, caption presets, so subtitle defaults. Uh, it even does teletext and Netflix and we can just say create. And that's now gonna analyze my entire timeline and create the subtitles for me. And there we go, the whole thing is now subtitled. So let's just play that through. And I can easily edit that as well. So if I just highlight these, we can go into our track mode and we can change the font or whatever we want to do. Now, the other thing we can do is go back to our transcribe. And even if you close this down, it's still there. So if I right hand click on the clip again and say transcribe, it doesn't have to go through the process again because it's already done it. So what I can do now is I could click up here and I could actually export this out as a file. And we can also create subclips. So if I want to create this little section here as a subclip, if I just click on here, you'll see then I've got a subclip here. I can also, let's go down and find another little section here. Um, so let's say this bit here, uh, including resizing for social media and all that sort of stuff. I could actually find a place in the edit and I can literally edit this into the program, just that section. So that's edited in perfectly. Uh, let's just undo that because I don't want that to be in there. So the other thing I can do is search for words. So I could search in here. Uh, I mentioned Casey Farris in this episode. So let's just find where that is. I'm gonna press search and there it is. And it's marked it up for me, ready to go. Uh, you can change the size and all that sort of stuff as well. So this is gonna allow me to subtitle my YouTube videos with great accuracy. Now YouTube favors if you subtitle your videos yourself. So I'm gonna not let YouTube do it anymore. I'm gonna do it like this. And when I've done this in Adobe Premiere, I've had to spend a long time correcting things. So how good is that feature? I was so excited when I saw that. I mean, what else do you need in DaVinci Resolve now? I know it's not a color feature, but to me, that is a real time saver. Just for my client work, for transcribing all the interviews, we do a lot of those for my YouTube videos, for getting accurate subtitling done. The AI in YouTube is really not very good at doing my videos because there's quite a lot of technical stuff in there. So I'm gonna be able to do that really easily in DaVinci Resolve now. So I just wanna say a massive thank you to the development team. I mean, they've just smashed it again. Tons more new features. I'm gonna get round to showing you the other ones as well. I just wanted to get this one out quick. And uh, subscribe, like, all that sort of stuff. Look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next episode.